Hi, in this video I will show you unboxing, teardown and testing laptop Lenovo Legion 5 Pro in top tier configuration. I bought six pieces of this laptop and one of them now we look first on unboxing, after teardown and as last uh, some benchmark. So let's go on it. So first we look on box. On front side is big logo Lenovo Legion. Wah. On left side is sticker Oop. with specification, CPU, RAM, story, GPU, display, battery, OS. On bottom, I think. On the right side it's only logo Legion. Top side is empty and from last side is only sticker battery inside. So now look what is in the box. Voila! And here is laptop and AC adapter. First we look on AC adapter and here one first and second manual. This AC adapter is huge, really big. It's 300 uh, watts. Yeah, maybe one one kilo. And here is model. And I show you a little smaller second. And here is 230 watts from standard uh, Lenovo Legion 5. Um, and when I compare this, yeah, really, really big. So, okay, this was. AC adapter and now let's go on laptop. Top cover of the laptop has logo that is backlit in uh, Windows sleep mode and uh, the connected AC adapter. So logo start flashes yeah, and when uh, is laptop turn it on so logo is always backlit. I show you yeah, you can see now. Always backlit. And when I turn off laptop and disconnect AC adapter, so logo is not backlit. On the right side we have two watt speaker, camera kill switch button, USB type A 3.2 Gen 2 and exhaust vent. On back side we can see most of the ports, exhaust vent, Ethernet port, USB Type-C 3.2 Gen 2 with display port uh, 1.4 and power delivery, two USB-A 3.2 Gen 1, HDMI 2.1, um, USB-A 3.2 Gen 1 with always on, power in connector and another exhaust vent. I like this design, really. On the left side we have from the back exhaust vent, USB Type-C 3.2 Gen 2 with display port 1.4, headphone mic jack and 2 watt speaker. On the front side is no ports, only in middle is just a niche to open display easier. On the bottom of the laptop are two rubber feet in the front, one rubber feet in the back and the holes for fans. Now we will look on display. So aspect ratio is 16 by 10 and now we will look on uh, available resolutions mm, here yeah now we will look on uh, di display details it's 8 bit uh, display support SDR and HDR it's 16 Hertz or 165 Hertz and uh, minimum brightness 
Now. And maximum brightness. Uh, this display have 500 nits and support uh, FreeSync, G-Sync and it's really beautiful. Keyboard is perfect Lenovo TrueStrike keyboard. In uh, lower models is here white backlit and in higher models is backlit RGB which supports many effects. Tear down uh, laptop uh, Lenovo Legion 5 Pro, it's not very easy because when you see this line, so someone can think that for this assembly uh, you remove only aluminum backplate and it's all, but it's not true because this plastic ventilation exhaust and this aluminum plate is uh, one big piece. I show you. Yeah, plastic exhaust and aluminum plate. So if you tear down Legion 5 Pro, so you must be really very careful because here are plastic hooks around here, here, here. So you must be careful. And here is plate the art character of Legion. Yeah, and this is it. Here is battery. It's uh, 80 watts, uh, four cells. Here is second NVMe SSD slot. Here, this is most battery. Uh, this is first SSD slot for primary SSD. In this piece is SSD from Stern Digital model SN730, but uh, other pieces have uh, Samsung model PM981A and Wi Fi card. Here is uh, Intel AX200 NGV, and here are RAM stickers. Uh, RAM is from Samsung. 8 gigabytes, 8 gigabytes, and uh, frequency is uh, 3200 MHz, uh, CL22. And here is uh, GPU, NVIDIA RTX uh, 3070, 140 watts, and here is uh, memory from GPU, GDDR6, 8 gigabyte, and here is CPU AMD Ryzen 7, uh, 5800H, 8 cores, 16 threads. And about cooling, cooling solution. Uh, if you compare to normal um, Legion 5, so in Pro version is this small heat pipe more, and th this plate. And in Legion 5 non pro, have two this heat pipes little smaller. So, in pro version, is cooling solution little better. So, this was tear down. Welcome page in BIOS Lenovo Legion 5 Pro. It's very simple but nice. Uh, in middle is actual thermal mode, balance, performance or quiet. On right is uh, boot device and uh, graphic device. In graphic device you can select uh, Optimus or uh, only discrete graphic from NVIDIA. And under World Legion is some specification. Here is uh, blue button more settings and this is uh, standard BIOS where you can find uh, tab information, configuration, security, boot and exit. In information it's standard product name, BIOS version, AC version, ATC. In configuration 
Oop. it's time wireless graphic UMA IMD V technology BIOS flashback always on USB and GPU overclocking in security it's standard nothing special okay. in boot you can uh, select USB boot PXE uh, IP V4 and UEFI and exit it's standard exit saving uh, changes exit discard ATC so I save and let's go on benchmarks now we will look on CPU-Z, GPU-Z, Huawei Info 64 and uh, Lenovo Vantage so we start with uh, CPU-Z here are all info about CPU, cache, motherboard, memory, SPD, graphics and version 1.96 GPU-Z so here are all information about RTX 3070 I uh, disable Optimus so here is now only dedicate GeForce sensors advanced so GPU-Z and here have a info 64 um, video adapter mm, monitor display motherboard memory network Ethernet, Gigabit, Wi-Fi and battery 80 watts and CPU Yep and when we look on uh, Lenovo Vantage application so here are standard information but this button is mainly and here you can switch from quiet mode balance mode and performance mode on this mode uh, gpu rtx uh, 3070 run on 140 watts so this is very best button in this laptop first benchmark is time spy uh, score is very nice 10435 on laptop it's a really good score uh, here is monitoring oh, details specifications yeah system info and on bottom detailed monitoring this GPU RTX 3070 is really good. Fire Strike uh, score is uh, 21,908. It's again so high score for laptop, it's incredible. Uh, system information and on bottom detailed monitoring temperature fps atc port royal score is uh, 6093 monitoring
System Information, Detailed Monitoring. Mesh Shader Future Test, uh, Shaders of uh, 16.2.13 FPS and Shader on uh, 351.5 FPS. Direct X Ray Tracing Future Test, Average Frame Rate 26.74 FPS. PCI Express Future Test and uh, score is bandwidth uh, 6.68 uh, GB per second. NVIDIA DLSS Future Test, uh, DLSS OFF and score is uh, 29.84 FPS and uh, DLSS ON uh, score is 72.76 FPS. Now Synbench version R20 yeah. and score is uh, 5000, 5 points. Synbench R23 and here is multi-core score uh, 12888 points. In a single core is score 1398 points and MP ratio is uh, 9.22. Re really good score. Last benchmark is uh, AS SSD benchmark version 2 and in this piece of Lenovo Legion 5 Pro is SSD from Samsung but other pieces can have from Western Digital but speeds are very same and these results are okay for PCI Express uh, 3 line 4. So what is my conclusion of testing of this laptop? Uh, uh. Lenovo Legion 5 Pro in this year is a really a really good laptop. I bought one piece of this laptop for $1,800 and for this price is this laptop really best choice because for this price this laptop have a so powerful GPU RTX 3070 140 watts it's monstrum of for laptop this size and CPU it's same I'm the Ryzen 7 5800H 8 cores 16 threads oh so so nice and second this display aspect ratio 16 by 10 it's good not only for games but for productivity too keyboard really nice good Lenovo Strut Trike keyboard uh, RGB backlit okay uh, uh, top and bottom it's from aluminium not plastic it's bonus and uh, ports ports and cooling solution from left right and back Re really good really good and for price $1,800 oh, this is this year one of the best choice what you can buy for your money so uh, this is my conclusion of Lenovo Legion 5 Pro in top tier configuration and see you in some next video. Bye!